What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London and let me introduce Mr. JWW to my YouTube channel. I've done a couple of videos with you in the past whilst you had a YouTube channel and whilst you didn't have a YouTube <laughs> yeah. channel, this time last year we drove back from Monaco to London with you in the R8 V10 yeah, Plus, which some of your subscribers and viewers will know. They will know, yeah. Still had that car in the early part of my YouTube channel. Last time we were here I didn't even exist on no. online and now I'm here full YouTube style. So it's pretty epic to have James here and his matte blue GT3 which you would have seen in our drive down. Today we are going to have a lot of fun in central Monaco seeing as for the last 10 years or so I've been supercar spotting uh, for Supercars of London and on Supercars of London you have never ever car spotted. Never car spotted which is funny because it seems the majority of people who've transitioned from spotting to YouTube started spotting. Exactly. Know? So I n I've never done this, I've never had the, the experience of it and today we thought it would be a good opportunity since we're in supercar mecca exactly. to learn from the pro to teach <laughs> oh, me well, yeah. how to go supercar I wouldn't, spotting. I wouldn't say that but <laughs> I think we're sort of taking baby steps because Monaco is so small but le the concentration level of supercars is so high. This is it. So we're going to ease you in nicely. I'm going to try and give you some techniques of yeah. where to go and, and sort of some external influence influences that you can use sure. to see whether supercars are on the way. So let's jump in your GT3, yep. park up sure. and get on foot. Are you ready? Your feet ready? I'm ready. Comfy yeah. trainers. Comfy trainers. I've got new I've got new running shoes nice. just just for yeah. today. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Even the drive down James needs fuel, his Porsche is too thirsty and needs fuel. And we've seen a Ferrari F40, which is insane, and an MG GTS. <laughs> so, I told you, we picked an easy place to start spotting. James has finished fueling, and he's been in the shop for like 10 minutes. I think he's buying biscuits or something. Not good car spotting. Wow, look at that, that's cool. We're not even in Monaco, <laughs> Sam's still driving, his camera's in the glove box. <laughs> As... <laughs> and I, even though I'm giving you tips on how to car spot, I can't car spot for you, so your camera remained in, yeah, the, glove box, in the glove box. And I, and I got it for my camera, <laughs> so. We have made it to Casino Square, so this is first stop on, I would say, my list of places to come to see supercars. So James has got his camera. We're gonna be doing different video clips here and there. Um, so definitely ch check out James's video after this video if you're watching this because there are some insane cars around in Monaco and the weather is beautiful. He's not a very obedient so student. He's filming boats. So we're about 10 minutes into our session now. James is getting the hang of it, filming a Porsche <laughs> GT3 over there. We've got a 488 coming up as well. So this is what the bus is hiding. Oh yes. As I was saying, we are at Casino. There goes the GT3, the GT3. So it's, it's all about eyes ears. and ears. <laughs> and I've basically given him some tips on if you're standing in a junction in Monaco that you want to be have as many eyes on as many bits of the road as possible, but also against the flow of traffic. So right now we are at the top of Casino Square which means all of the cars coming round are coming towards us, but also from this way as well, they're coming towards us, which basically means we do less walking, but also have more opportunity of seeing the cars. Next stop, we are heading down to Fairmont. We are basically doing the F1 circuit, but there's a few things that we can go almost off piste, as you might say, where we are gonna get some pretty cool supercar action. One tip that I would say in Monaco, like even though we are 
um, vlogging and car spotting is kind of keep the cameras rolling because you never know what's going to come around the corner. So as we were on our way down in James's uh, GT3, we saw the green Aventador Roadster and all of those crazy customised cars. This is where they're staying at the Fairmont, so fingers crossed there are some pretty special cars in this hotel that we can check out. And car spotting, even though it's much better to see them on the road because you get to see them move but also hear them, yeah. when it's something like a Koenigsegg Aguera, it's all right. You capture it. Yeah, <laughs> it's okay seeing them parked up, but yeah. fingers crossed we get to see it moving as well. This is good technique, James. Yeah, True Blood. It's part of the Red Crew. So this car behind me is probably the one of the mega cars that is going to be here this week at Top Marks. It is pretty much True Blood. It's obviously painted, it's not wrapped. And it has got red carbon everywhere. So I'm going to try and get a closer look at some of the details on this car for you guys to see. James, have you got the details on I camera? got the details. It's got the details. the details. Man. You're learning quick. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. James, we are coming down to the tunnel. This is which the tunnel. In a few days, <laughs> is going to be the Absolute craziest God. place to be. <laughs> and it's such a good place to be. Obviously, everyone's accelerating into the tunnel. Yeah. But I'll show you all of the vantage points okay. around the tunnel. Okay. And that's where, like, that's why this place is so good. Okay. I'll turn the west. Right, we are now heading to the famous Formula One tunnel where it's actually quite rare that you see supercars in here, but when you do, Sounds it makes amazing. for an epic, epic video. video. <laughs> so let's just walk through, uh, try and see what we can, or just try and, yeah, basically try our luck, see what we can see. James is filming the sea. All right. James got that, luckily. So after a hard day's car spot, what are we doing? Well, car spotting wouldn't be complete without an ice cream cone. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
So thank you James for today and also head over to James's channel to see his perspective on what he picked up when we went supercar spotting for the first time in Monaco and I'm looking forward to seeing your Good. spotting video from Top Marks which yeah. is happening in a couple of, a days, couple of time. days time. Thanks for teaching me how to spot properly. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't and again subscribe to James because there's going to be a lot more content on his channel coming very soon. See you tomorrow guys. Cheers. Ciao.